to this week's Foundation Friday. I am joined today by Kelly Neighbor, Executive Director at the Equipment Leasing and Finance Foundation. Thanks for joining me again, Kelly. Oh, thanks so much for having me, Jesse. I'm excited. Yeah. No, I'm glad to have you on here. I know it's been a little bit since we've uh, featured the foundation mm -hmm. on one of these um, showcases. So glad to uh, sit and take a few minutes to sit down with you and you know discuss what the foundation's up to in 2023. Great. Happy to do it. I think we did one of the first ones in the middle of the pandemic. Yeah, yeah. No, it's <laughs> been a while. So we'll just have to see um, with all the additional traffic that we're getting to the channel. We'll have to make sure that this one obviously out outperforms the last Love one. It. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> so Kelly, for those people who might not be familiar with you, do you mind just kind of introducing yourself and sure. the foundation? Sure. Um, Kelly Me Neighbor. With the Equipment Leasing and Finance Foundation, we are a nonprofit and we are affiliated with ELFA, um, but we operate separately outside of any membership of any of the trade organizations. So uh, we serve the greater good of the entire industry. We have a couple of major program areas where we spend our time on forward-looking research for and about the industry, like the market sizing study that um, kind of has identified that this is a $1 trillion industry that comes from a foundation report, uh, lots of topical research. And then separately, we have an academic outreach program that is connecting companies and their employees to college students, aiding the industry's efforts for recruiting um, and looking at the future workforce for the industry. Um, I've been with the foundation, this is year 13 for me, okay. and I've been with the industry for 17 years before that. So been around a while. <laughs> just, just, just a little bit. <laughs> yeah, just, you know. <laughs> um, so thank you for that, um, that overview there, Kelly. So, sure. you know, what, um, what re new reports do we have coming out or that you've already put out or that we can anticipate coming out from the sure. foundation this year? So focus solely on the research uh, for a minute. We kind of bucket our research into economic reports where we publish um, the annual economic outlook and then we update that quarterly. So the Q2 economic outlook is current, um, was just published in April. And then in July, we'll have a Q3 outlook update. And then we'll publish the 2024 um, outlook in December to get everybody ready for next year. Uh, along with those economic outlooks, we have a suite of economic related products that we produce with Keybridge Research, who's a, a DC based um, economic and policy firm here in the Washington DC area. We have the industry snapshot, which is full of charts and graphs and talking points. It's an excellent research or excellent resource. If anyone is doing a presentation to a parent company, to customers, clients, investors, stakeholders, it's a great tool to use because it, it complements the economic outlook. So it can give a good industry overview, but it's very focused on the the charts and the talking points that explain where the economic environment is. Um, we also have the monthly momentum monitor, which tracks 12 different verticals and their 10 year investment cycles. We have the monthly confidence index, which is a survey of industry leadership. It's meant to be sort of a gut reaction to what's going on in the industry right now. We publish that on the third Thursday of every month. Um, so those are all kind of our, our economic tracking tools. And then separately, we have topical research. We have a, a volunteer-driven research committee that develops ideas. Uh, we put out RFPs. We look for uh, researchers to be able to produce the content. And we always have volunteer steering committees to guide them. Everything we do is focused on the future. So everything has a lead time. Some of the economic reports might be three to six months, and our topical reports might be three to five years. Um, but everything is looking ahead at what the potential opportunities, potential challenges, um, looking at trends and future impact um, to the industry. So from the research perspective, there is, there's 30, almost 35 years of content available and it's all free on our website. So if you are looking for anything, whether it's the market sizing data, specific um, information on, on a particular vertical, that you want to get into a geographic area, 
um, anything from ESG and uh, funding to software applications. In fact, we just published a report on um, specialized applications and software for the industry, which is great, getting a lot of um, popularity with that one. Uh, we also have some segmented research. We just published a report specific to the captive industry. I mean, it's all there. There is a wealth of information um, all available at your fingertips, one touch download. So check out the foundation's online library. Yeah. And, you, and you know, I just wanted to make sure I clarify this. You do not need to be an ELFA member to get access to these reports. No, it's not about membership. The foundation, we are a 501c3 charitable organization. We are funded by very generous donations from corporations and a lot of individuals uh, who support the work of the foundation. Our mission is to inspire thoughtful innovation for the future of the industry. We're all working towards bettering the industry as we move forward. So we have a lot of um, charitable dollars that we are stewarding at the foundation to publish this research and to share. Um, I don't immediately want to segue into our academic outreach program, but we're also funding a scholarship Perfect. program. Well, that, so, was, that, was, oh. that, that was where I was going to segue. So <laughs> let's, let's, let's segue. Okay. Um, a lot of our donor dollars are also supporting our scholarship program. We have, we're up to five scholarships right now. We, we launched the program in 2020, right as um, the pandemic was starting. But uh, we had three the first couple of years, and now we're up to five scholarships. So hopefully that program will continue to grow. Um, applications are due later in May, and then we'll announce the winners over the summer. It's been a really great connection point. It's a natural extension of the guest presentation program that the foundation has hosted for a long time that gets industry volunteers into college classrooms on campuses meeting with the local economic club, the financial management club, the marketing club, or maybe it's Lisa Accounting 101, all the different courses at different campuses across the country. And that's all volunteer led. And Jesse, you know, you've done those um, over the years. Sure. So um, that's been a really great experience for the students, for the schools, for our volunteers, for the foundation. And it just turns this natural connection. It helps the foundation introduce us to new academic faculty that can then come back to us as researchers. It gives us a connection point to the students, shares the overview of the industry, the career pathways that are available in almost every area, not just finance. Um, so want to make sure that students are aware of the wealth of opportunities that this industry offers. And then the scholarship just kind of helps solidify that planning. There are some requirements to be um, tied to the industry. We love it um, when corporate interns who are already connected to companies are applying for the um, scholarship, as well as, you know, it's not, you're not prevented. If you have a college age student <laughs> um, of your own in your company, you're not prevented from, from having that student apply. Uh, so we are definitely trying to engage the next generation and attract new diverse talent to the industry going forward. So um, it's been a really great program and it's growing in popularity, both in terms of having volunteers be engaged and in terms of dollars dedicated to the scholarship program. So we're pretty excited about the potential that this has um, to help move the industry um, and keep us going forward into the future years to come. So it's pretty, pretty exciting stuff. No, I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, I've, I think I've done three of those um, mm -hmm. and I see, I think it's almost like, I can't really say one a week, but at least there's a couple a month yeah. that I see um, our peers in the industry giving yeah. at, at local and colleges. And it's pretty neat. I mean, other than the fact that the last one, I had you and Ralph sitting in there, <laughs> like, and I'm like, great. <laughs> well, I, I think what we found is having the sort of panel presentation really kind of makes it more engaging and fun for both the volunteers and the students. You know, you get a you know, four or five people from different yeah. companies, from different roles in the companies. They can talk about, you know, your own career journey and how you came to this industry because no one is, is going to college with this ambition of really want to go work in equipment finance, though they should, 
and we'll get there. But right now that's not the case. So, you know, want to just embrace the opportunity. And this is a presentation that was developed out of um, one of ELFA's business council steering committee years ago, like 15 years ago, the foundation adopted the program probably 10 years ago. Um, yep. So we've been doing this for a long time, even virtual sessions during the pandemic when kids were not on campuses. But now that kids are back on campus, it's really been going gangbusters, really had a lot of uh, momentum, especially this spring semester. Um, so we look forward to what that means going forward. We've had a lot of conversations with a lot of schools about setting up already for next fall. And we try to stay a semester ahead. There's a whole suite of resources available. It's a ready-made deck, presentation deck. Um, and we've sort of segmented, we're working on this now to evolve the presentation going forward. So there's a, a short industry overview deck focused on career pathways, um, talking about compensation opportunities and what the different roles and company types are, much shorter. Sure. And then more in-depth subject matter expertise that if you were going into a classroom that really was you know, a 300, 400 level course, you could have a much more substantive in-depth conversation around lease accounting or something more substantive. Well, well, plus it's all on the talent that you have in the room too. So yeah. if you start going too far deep into lease accounting, that's where I sit there and I'm like, look, I'm the salesperson here. I'm just going to bow <laughs> out and let the smarter people take these conversations. But you know, that's important <laughs> for students to see that too. I, and the, I think from the student's perspective, you can see it in the room. They love the camaraderie yeah. of the peers that are on the panel. Um, they love, I mean, it's fascinating to go into a college campus whether they're business students or not, and just be able to say, hey, we're here from a $1 trillion company, you know, an industry. It doesn't matter if you're a software developer, a marketing person, sales driven, finance, accounting, economics. Yeah. You know, we've done these presentations in law schools and attracted um, new legal talent to come in. So yeah. anybody who works in this industry knows that people come from all walks of life into equipment finance and then we just all stay <laughs> hotel california <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh -huh. so i want to shift focus to a little bit um you know for those people who can see the graphic behind us here or behind me um you know i want to shift to the the upcoming day of giving mm -hmm. um kelly so let's <laughs> let's talk about that if, sure. if you don't mind sure so i mentioned a moment ago the foundation is funded by corporate donations and individual donations. These are tax deductible, charitable gifts, and that's how we fund the publication of our research, the scholarship fund, all of our programming, all of the things that the foundation does. So we are so grateful for the support of all of our industry audience. Um, we are in, uh, this will be our sixth annual day of giving. This is a one day not really 24 hours, it's more like 36 hour campaign um, to celebrate the foundation. It gives our donors an opportunity to share why supporting the foundation is important to them, whether people like the research or they're supportive of the scholarship program, or they wanna give back to the industry that has made their career successful. This is a, a one day celebration. It's mostly online, a, a social media campaign. So we encourage people to participate you know, make their own posts, like and share the posts that the foundation will be putting out, you know, share your favorite research, which ones you track or which ones you don't miss, because some of our research reports are recurring on a regular basis, and they're updated, uh, whether it's monthly, quarterly, annually, and sometimes it's, you know, the, the academic outreach side, and people have favorite memories of the school that they visited and the student that they connected with it, that they then hired as an intern and is now a full-time employee and all those success stories, this is the day to bring all that out and really encourage maybe those who don't already support the foundation to consider making a gift and pay forward to the future of the industry. Everything sure. we do is about looking ahead. Our tagline is your eye on the future. And we want to make sure that this industry evolves and sustains and survives and thrives long into the future. So we welcome support, participation, and encourage you to reach out if you have any questions or suggestions that will um, 
help us all make this industry a better place going forward. No, and, and thank you for that. I know that uh, organizations that I've been a part of that are members of, of ELFA and then myself indiv individually um, make contributions to the foundation just based on the importance of, you know, what it means to our careers. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. And, you know, I mean, we all make choices for where we donate our charitable dollars for whatever our personal communities, our kids' schools, all the local um, charities or national charities that are out there. This is an industry-related charitable organization that really does good work on behalf of the entire industry. And it's not tied to company membership in any particular organization. So we are open to all, available for all. Our resources are free and we encourage you to use them participate. You can volunteer your time. You can, you know, make a financial contribution and it is a valuable investment in the future of the industry. And then I'll also put on here, I'll put a link to the foundation website. Um, and then on there, I can also probably put your email address too, if people have specific questions or want sure. to further volunteer. Sure. Yeah, that'd be terrific. We welcome it all. Okay. Well, excellent, Kelly. Well, I appreciate your time today. Um, day of giving? June 6th. June 6th. I'm like looking, I'm like, I think I'd be able to read the graphic behind me. However, I can't <laughs> and I don't want to be rude really. and, turn, and turn around. <laughs> so, so June 6th, everybody. Um, June be sure 6th. To, yes. Sure to donate individually. And, you know, if your organizations haven't made donations, um, you know, let's get them to, uh, to do so as well. Yes. Now you can give any time of year. But this is the one day that that we are targeting um, for our celebration. What is, I, I guess what is the what is the goal for for June sixth? For June sixth, um, I think the published goal is eighty five thousand. Of course, we'd love to exceed that. That is focused a lot on individual giving goals. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I think the average donation is around a hundred dollars. But if people okay. want to do twenty, that's fine. People want to do 500. That's great too. We have recognition at varying giving levels too. And you can see all that on our website. So if people need to make the choice that's right for them. We just welcome all the support um, from our industry. Excellent. Well, appreciate your time today, Kelly. Uh, sure. If you have any questions, people watching this, be sure to reach directly out to her. Um, and uh, look forward to seeing you here in a couple of weeks in Capital Connections. Yes, Jesse, thanks so much for this opportunity. We really appreciate your support and the support of your network and all the things that you do to help us as well. Thank you. Well, thank you for that, Kelly. Talk mm -hmm. soon. You have a good day. Okay. All right. Bye. Bye. Bye.